With me this morning from Capital Network, I'm joined by Ed Stacey. Ed, a very good morning. Good morning. We're taking a look at Evacta today. The uh, the company's had their interim results out for the six months to the end of January. Of course, an important period too. A number of big licensing deals announced. Just before we get to Ed, a reminder, if you want to see his full report, click on the I in the top right-hand corner of your screen. So Ed, the, the six months here, the interims, how, how was the period for them? So good, good progress as expected. Uh, they've ended the period with just under 12 million of net cash following the fundraise that they've done. Don't forget they are changing their year end, so it will now become a December year end. So we're in a 17 month uh, period at the moment. Um, so just the numbers are there in my report, how that uh, affects your numbers. Uh, and then also they reported in their um, research and diagnostics reagents business, record sales pipeline there. But for us, the big focus is the other side of the business, the therapeutics business, um, it's preclinical uh, technologies that they have there. So it's, it's not a big revenue generator in 2019, but that's where a lot of the big sort of value opportunity is for, their, for the group. Uh, and that's the, the licensing deals that you've referred to. Um, so that's what we're just giving a bit of a reminder of in our report. Mm. Well, tell us just what is the potential here for the, the therapeutics business? <clears throat> yes, yeah, so a big potential. Um, so the reagents business, that's stuff for use in the laboratory. Therapeutics means stuff for actually treating patients. Uh, of particular interest are applications in immuno-oncology. So this is cancer related. Um, this market, immuno-oncology, is, is it's a big market, $100 billion uh, already the market size. Um, and the principle there is to use the body's immune system to attack cancer. Uh, it's a very promising cancer treatment. It's also a very hot space in terms of activity within the market space. Uh, even for pre-clinical technologies like Avacta has, you can see some big valuations being attached to these kind of assets. Um, so we've got some examples of that in our report. And then as you move from pre-clinical onto the actual clinical trial phases, uh, then the kind of valuations go up again by a multiple. So that could be a 2020 event maybe for Avacta. Um, and obviously as we progress towards that, you, you'll get more interest in, in, these kind of, um, in this kind of area. And then the final thing I wanted to say about the therapeutics is in terms of how do we know they actually are making progress towards those goals. I think the licensing deals are a very positive sign there. Uh, the licensing deals that you mentioned, so they had LG Chem, which is part of the Korean group LG, uh, and the other partner is Moderna, which is a US biotech company. Um, those kind of highly respected partners coming in and wanting to co-fund with you I think is a very good mm. sign that your product is is heading in the right direction. Well, just as a final, a final word of recap, if you like, then looking at Avacta, the reagent side of the business, that's solid. But the big prize, the big opportunity, that's where therapeutics is it's, in the business. Yes, exactly. Um, the the therapeutics business has a huge amount of potential in the future. You have the licensees on board. And then as you get towards 2020 and moving into the clinical phase, even more valuation upside. But even as it stands as a preclinical technology potentially could be valued much more than the current market cap of the whole of Avacta. So I think that's a really interesting point. Many thanks for your analysis, Ed. For Ed's full report, click on the I in the top right-hand corner of your screen.